Hello everyone. My name is Ashwini Dashgupta. I'm a faculty at Chinta.com. In this video, we will talk about algebra for mathematical Olympiads and ISI and CMI entrances. We will solve an interesting problem. So grab a pen and paper, you can follow along. I will also suggest some books on algebra. And there will be a challenge problem at the end of this video. A challenge problem. So you can watch at till the end of this particular session. So the problem says that P of X is a polynomial, a degree 11 polynomial. And P of X is equals to 1 over X plus 1 for X equal to 0 to 11. So it's a degree 11 polynomial means it looks like P of X is some a11 x to the power 11 plus a10 x to the power 10 up to a0. So these are coefficients, numbers, real numbers. And it's an 11 degree polynomial. So the highest power is 11. And p of x is equal to 1 over x plus 1 for these values of x. So, just to make sure we understand, P of X does not look like this. But it looks like this only for these input values of X. We want to find out what is P of 12. This problem came up in ISI BMAT entrance 2009. It's also useful for IOQM, American Math Competitions and INMO. Hello everyone, welcome to Chinta.com. We have outstanding programs on Mathematical Olympiads, ISI CMI entrances. If you are interested in that, you can check the link in the description. Let's try to solve the problem. So P of X is this. So I will create something called an auxiliary polynomial. An auxiliary polynomial. This is a very interesting and useful problem-solving strategy in algebra, in Olympiad algebra. So given a particular polynomial or a function, you can create a new function, a new function out of it, a new function. So in this case, what we will do is, we will just write x plus 1 times px minus 1. We will call this polynomial capital Fx. Now recall that p of x is 11 degree polynomial. 11 degree polynomial. So this capital Fx is a 12 degree polynomial. 12 degree polynomial. Because I just multiplied x plus 1 to p of x. Which means by the fundamental theorem of algebra, by the fundamental theorem of algebra, capital Fx has 12 roots, at most 12 roots, real or complex. Actually, exactly 12 roots if you consider repeated roots as well. So we will focus our attention on this. Now, it is given that P of X is equal to 1 over X plus 1 for these 12 values. That means if I plug in these 12 values, that is if I calculate F of 0, F of 1, up to f of 11, if I calculate these 12 values, each of them will be equal to 0. So, these are the 12 roots. These are the 12 roots that the function has. 
So we can write it as capital Fx equals to some leading coefficient capital A times x minus 0, x minus 1 up to x minus 11 because these are the 11 roots and we have we may have some leading number capital A which we have to find out. This is how capital Fx looks like. Okay, so let's calculate f of minus 1. f of minus 1 is minus 1 plus 1 p of minus 1 minus 1. I'm just bringing it from here. Which turns out to be 0 minus 1, just minus 1. So f of minus 1 is minus 1. So I will calculate it one more time in this expression. So here f of minus 1 is minus 1 times minus 1 minus 0 minus 1 minus 1 up to minus 1 minus 11. And of course there is a capital A in front of it. Capital A times minus 1 minus 0 and so on. So I'm just replacing x by minus 1 in this expression. So there are 12 terms here. All of them are negative. So if we get a times 12 factorial. a times 12 factorial. Which I know from here is negative 1. So I get a value of a which is minus 1 by 12 factorial. That's the value of a. So now I am ready to cal calculate p of 12. So I'll just replace x by 12. So f of x, I replace x by 12 is equal to 12 plus 1 times p of 12 minus 1. Now I will replace x by 12 here. So I get minus 1 by 12 factorial which is the value of a times 12 minus 0, 12 minus 1 up to 12 minus 11. So what do I get? I get 13 times p of 12 minus 1 equals to negative 1 by 12 factorial times this is 12, this is 11 and so on up to 1. So I get another 12 factorial. So this is just negative 1. From here, can you tell me it's a challenge problem? And it's very easy because I have done all the steps almost. So here is a challenge problem. What is P of 12? Can you calculate it and tell me in the comment section? Also about the books on algebra. In the Chitta Math Olympiad program, we use quite a few books. For the juniors, you can start with Algebra by Gelfand. It's a very nice book. This is for classes 5 to 8. 5 to 8 in this range. Many interesting problems. And for seniors, there are quite a few books. But for polynomials, that is the section of algebra that we handle today. For polynomials, the book by Barbu is really nice. So you can check that out. Check out that links in the description for more useful videos. I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.